that control can only mean one thing when playing the Atari 2600 Junior. Junior. And on today's episode, we're playing Kool-Aid Man. Oh yeah, Kool-Aid Man for the Atari 2600 Junior. And uh, Kool-Aid Man was released in 1983 on the Atari 2600. It's published by Mattel. Uh, Mattel is actually known for making some pretty decent games on the Atari 2600 Junior, but how could Kool-Aid Man be a, a decent game? I mean, you definitely tell the Mattel cartridges weren't really that fancy at all. They actually cut back on the plastic, and uh, the actual art on the uh, cartridges were absent. There was really there wasn't no art whatsoever. And in fact, the only thing that you had on the cartridge was the uh, the end label. As you can see right here, it says Kool-Aid Man. It's a pretty cool looking logo right there. Now this is obviously a uh, product placement video game designed to advertise Kool-Aid. And uh, the Kool-Aid man was the mascot of Kool-Aid and still is. And uh, how could this game be any good? I mean, there's very, very few good product placement games, if there is any at all. Now one thing that was really, really interesting about this game was not only did it advertise Kool-Aid, but if you actually purchased a lot of Kool-Aid back in the day, and you cut out the uh, little proof of purchase box, where the, uh, the actual barcode is, if you had 125 of those, you could actually mail it in and get a free copy of this game. And that's pretty awesome. You don't even have to pay for the game. Just buy a lot of Kool-Aid, drink a lot of Kool-Aid, and you get the game for free. And uh, you know what? If you're a fan of Kool-Aid, what the hell? And you had an Atari 2600, then it's a big win for you. And uh, you know, what could go wrong? This is a Mattel game. I mean, chances are the game's probably not that bad, because Mattel actually makes pretty good games. So let's pop in Kool-Aid, man, and let's check this out. Alright, so you can see right there on the first try, oh yeah! The uh, Kool-Aid Man game works. <laughs> Quite the interesting uh, looking game right here, and right away we get like... Alright, I guess we got thrown right into the game. And, uh... Let me see here. First, I can see in this game, uh, you have to stop. Well, as far as I can see in the game, you have to stop these uh, little creatures right here from drinking the Kool-Aid down at the bottom of the screen. And you can see right there, they have like little straws that pop out of the bottom of their bodies and they suck up all the Kool-Aid. You have to try not to get hit by all these other creatures. And uh, this game was uh, a Mattel game, and I guess... General Foods paid to have this game made. It was definitely a huge product placement game. And you would figure that a product placement game like this would be awful. But, I mean, it turns out that the game is actually not that bad. It has a quite this, you know, simple arcade formula for, you know, back in the day. This simple task. Nothing really, really fancy. I mean, the graphics, there's a lot of on-screen movement going on. There's a lot of uh, characters, different colors, all kinds of stuff going on here. And it looks like the uh, the little straws that pop out of the uh, creatures. And oh my god, look at Kool-Aid, man. He's huge. Look at that. I mean, look at the, the raster graphics coming out of the, uh, the actual creatures themselves. It looks like I might have died here. What the hell? Yeah, I died, so I got 5,300 points. I wonder if they had a special uh, prize, like those Activision games, where you could actually win a, a pack of Kool-Aid or something like that. That'd be pretty cool. I wonder if you bought the game if you uh, got a coupon to get Kool-Aid. Let's restart the game. This is the best part of the game right here. Watch this. He busts right through the wall. Bam! Oh, yeah. Kool-Aid, man. <laughs> it's ridiculous. All right, so let's stop these creatures from drinking my Kool-Aid. Yeah, take like that, you son of a bitch. Yeah. You ain't drinking my Kool-Aid. See what kind of high score we can get here. This is... I actually find this game to be pretty good. It's actually not bad at all. I must say... It's probably one of my favorite Atari 2600 games. It's not bad. I think it's pretty good. And uh, I like Kool-Aid. I think Kool-Aid tastes pretty good. Get over here. Alright, so uh, down below, I want you to tell me what's your favorite flavor of Kool-Aid. 
I know there's gotta be a favorite flavor. I think fruit punch probably tastes the best. Let's see if we can uh, stop all these Kool-Aid stealers. They're stealing all my Kool-Aid. So yeah, you just have to stop all those creatures from drinking your Kool-Aid. It's actually a very simple game, nothing really fancy about it. And then you see I'm at 10,000 points. You have to try not to get hit by these uh, creatures also, because there's a whole bunch of them that come flying from all different sides of the screen. And it's quite difficult at times. <laughs> you see right here I'm using the, uh, the standard Atari 2600 controller. I would imagine that if you're used to like a Sega controller, it's probably easier. But for me, this is actually uh, quite playable. It's actually not bad. The controls are pretty good. You can see I'm at 13,000 points. Oh, yeah. oh I'm at 15,000 points. Look at that. 16,000 points. Alright, these creatures are getting faster. So as you play the game, they get faster and faster. It gets a little bit more challenging. You have to be careful not to get hit. Oh, what the hell? Oh my god. When you get hit, it's like your, your Kool-Aid pitcher, which that's what that is. It turns into like a like a pinball effect. Okay, it gets to getting tossed around the screen by all the creatures. Oh my god, look at that. And uh, when it turns all black like that, that black background, that means that you pretty much got a game over. Which that sucks. So, as you can see here, we're going full screen because my uh, digital camera decided to uh, die on me, unfortunately. So, we're going full screen right here. No more uh, memory vision double screen for the moment. So, yeah, as you can see here, this is Kool-Aid Man. Let's do the full screen Kool-Aid Man here, busting through the wall. Oh, yeah, look at that. that. That's probably the most awesome beginning to an Atari 2600 game ever. You can actually have a full motion Kool-Aid man busting straight through the wall. I mean, that's impressive. Let's try this one more time. See, I can I actually enjoy this game. I actually really like this game. It's not really much to uh, say about this game in terms of it being bad at all. I honestly think it's pretty good. I mean, who the hell would even imagine a Kool-Aid game being good? But yeah, it's actually pretty good. And, uh, yeah, this game was made by Mattel. And, uh, Mattel was quite famous for making pretty good games. So, uh, they took a game that was, uh, probably had very little going for it. Because it was nothing but a product placement game to advertise Kool-Aid. And they, uh, they actually turned it into something actually pretty good. So, uh, hats off to Mattel, man. They, did a pretty good job, in my opinion. There's not too many uh, companies that can take a product placement game and actually make it good. But they did a pretty good job. And uh, that's Kool-Aid Man on the Atari 2600. It's actually uh, pretty fun here. I'm going to continue playing it. And if you enjoyed this episode of Memory Lane, don't forget to comment down below and give me a thumbs up. And uh, yeah... Drink some Kool-Aid. Don't forget to write down below what your favorite flavor Kool-Aid is. Because right now we're playing Kool-Aid, man. It's a pretty cool game. Not bad at all. Who would have ever thought this would be a pretty good game? <laughs> it's quite interesting.